um, I just, you know, hope that, you know, Michigan is seen as a place that really going to, you know, do what they say, be honest, but they have a culture in place that will help you become the best version of yourself. I also think it helps that you got Phil Martelli as, a, as an assistant coach. That man did a guy. I covered him for years in yes. Philadelphia, him coaching at St. <laughs> Joe's. That's an outstanding basketball mind you got on your bench. Make no mistake about it. Phil, Mart- Phil Martelli can coach. Uh, with that yes. being said, yes. On the basketball court, when we look at Michigan right now, we hear Gonzaga, we hear Baylor, we uh, obviously Villanois, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Illinois, you lost to those guys, uh, but then there's Michigan. You guys are in the midst of, of potentially getting a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Your basketball team, just specifically on the court, what are your strengths right now? Why are you so confident in what this team can end up doing in pursuit of a national championship? Well, you know, a lot of people talk about the X's and O's. Um, I think, you know, what helps with our success is how connected we are um, as a group. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, 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 connect, that connection comes from, you know, the uh, identity on the offensive end and defensive end, the belief that they have for one another on the floor, the trust that they have for each other, and then more importantly, the trust that they have in the staff with our preparation. And you touched on it earlier with Coach Phil Martelli, uh, Saudi Washington and Howard Isley, you know, all of those guys are head coaches. Uh, I know Saudi Washington and Howard Isley going to be a head coach on the collegiate level uh, very, very soon. And uh, Coach Phil Martelli, who has been, you know, head coach at, at St. Joe's for 26 years and uh, been an assistant there for 10 years. You know, it ha- we have a lot of wealth of knowledge, uh, but our preparation on how we prepare and practice um, and then our preparation for games, you know, I think that, you know, our program is, is very connected group and we're going to continue to keep, you know, building off that. And, and, and our goal is, yes, to be the last team standing uh, on that Monday night in April. Last question. So many people make a lot of noise, and rightfully so, about the struggles of this season as it pertains to COVID-19, some of the adjustments that have had to be made. There was a point in time this year when you, you guys didn't play for three weeks, for crying out loud, but still in all, you managed to have a very, very successful season. I'm of the mindset that it doesn't get much tougher than this. So to excel under these conditions next year and the year after and the year after that, might be easier because you can't imagine <laughs> having to deal with the kind of stuff that you've dealt with this year. Do you have that same kind of thinking, or is your thinking a little bit different than that? Well, I, I'm gonna tell you this, man. I got older uh, over the last 18 months. Uh, more gray hairs, less sleep, uh, more <laughs> bags underneath my eyes because of what you just touched on. It's been very challenging to have a season during a pandemic. And I admire and respect how Kevin Warren, the Big Ten commissioner, as well as Ward Manuel, uh, on how they made all this work. Uh, and I really give you know a lot of credit to our players on the sacrificing and being as disciplined as they were. Uh, knock on wood, uh, right now we're doing very well here at the school. And our, but it's tough. It's tough. Uh, and the mental toughness part of it has been tested. Uh, day after day. And, um, you know, if anyone say that, you know, it's easy to have a season like this and, and if anyone talk about that, um, you know, the winning during a, during a time like a pandemic is easy, you know, that's BS. You know, this is, mm. this is the hardest it's ever been. So if there is going to be an easier route or light at the end of the tunnel, I'm looking forward to, you know, sharing that light and, and experiencing it because, you know, wow, this has been the roughest, uh, but more importantly, we have embraced the suck. Mm. With all the success this program has had throughout the years and throughout decades, there is no question that you are taking it to new heights, my brother. I'm so proud of you, so happy for you. Continued, you. Dis- continued success along the way. I have no doubt that you will achieve it, my brother. All the best to you. Thank you, Stephen A. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for the support. All right, my man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.